Welcome back to another episode of the Gladi Media Podcast. My name is Ace Carroll. I'm Kimba Burgess. And I am Abby Curl. Today we're going to be talking about our bad work experiences and just bad client interactions. I'm going to be talking about, so I work at a fast food restaurant and over the summer I also worked at um, lifeguarding for a summer camp. And so I, the first one I'm going to talk about my bad work experiences are going to be about my fast food job. So um, I was working in the drive through line, you know, taking some orders and this, it was right when I first started, so I was a little bit slow on the slow side, and this one car pulls up, big giant mom van, of course, you know, it's like full of kids who are like never going to tell their order, um, and I took their order, and of course, I wanted to change it, they kept switching up, it probably took, you know, a little bit long, the next car pulls up, starts screaming in my face, like cussing at me, saying I was too slow that I should quit my job, and so... I kind of like freaked out. I was like, I'm so sorry. So I went back inside. I was like, can someone take your order? Like, I can't do this. Um, that was probably one of my worst client experiences. Oh, that's so horrible. Yeah. I it's kind of fast food. You know, all the clients can never, always hungry. Hungry clients are the yeah. worst. Yeah. I, mm. had a, I had a similar experience with just a bad Karen and just a bad experience overall. So I work as a lifeguard, and if it is storming, thundering, or lightning, you can't get in the pool until 30 minutes have gone by. Like, mm-hmm. there's, no, there's no lightning, there's no thunder. And there were these girls who were giving me a really hard time. They kept on, like, dipping their feet back in the pool, and we were whistling, hey, please get out of the pool, it's not safe, we'll let you know when you can get back in. And they were doing it when we were turning around, cleaning stuff up, they were just really getting on our nerves. And I was like, okay, I need a break. So I went with my guards and we went to like the bar kind of area to just get water to fill up our water bottles. And so as I am filling up the water bottle, I turn around and I see these girls completely submerged in the water. And it was my last straw. I was almost done. We were already working overtime past the shift. And I was just so over it and I was so upset. So I turn around and I whistle like as loud as I can because I'm not that close to them. I'm like a like across the whole pool deck mm-hmm. and I whistle really really loudly and I'm like get out of the water like I'm, I'm a very calm collected person but I was not having it I was so yeah. upset like get out of the water because lightning is a real thing and you will get struck by lightning and so they're like oh he he and they're like giggling as they're running out of the pool and this woman whips around she turns to me she's like face completely red and I'm already embarrassed because I was really loud and she goes you know how disrespectful you are you are so disrespectful this is why no one likes the lifeguards here we don't know why you guys are like just bashing me and swearing at me like obviously I won't say those words but it was horrible and I was just keeping my composure and I was like yes ma'am like I'm so sorry like they were just giving us a really hard time she's like you need to be more responsible your job is to go do all this stuff and I was just it was horrible so that night I was like bawling my eyes out because I was like 99% sure that I was going to get a call from my boss and like tell me that I was fired (laughs) because the woman is like what's your name I need your name she's like okay I'll be contacting someone and I was just it was so bad but I never got a call and I was talking to all my employees and they're like you did the right thing like she was overreacting yeah you were doing your job (laughs) she was definitely overreacting horrible like I was burning up like I was so embarrassed that's crazy like they they should get out of the water I know yeah it was so bad All right, well, before we continue, we are going to cut to a word from our sponsors. Craving something sweet? Come to Sarah's Donuts, where every donut is handmade with love. From our fluffy classic glaze to our mouth-watering specialties like bacon maple and sunflower donuts, these donuts are freshly made every day just for you. Treat yourself to happiness at Sarah's Donuts, where every bite feels like home. Welcome back. Now we're going to be talking about just work stories in general. Well, I'm going to move to my summer job, the one at a camp, and this was, I was also lifeguarding, so um, we have different blocks that they, like, get in and out of the pool, and so on Mondays, we do swim tests, because there's so many that if um, one person doesn't know how to swim, then it's easier just to, like, test them first, get them in a life jacket, so we don't have to stress about that, and so this one kid, okay, all the kids do not want life jackets, even if they, like, cannot... They're literally drowning. They're not cool. Yeah, yeah. They're not cool if they have a life jacket, of course. But um, this one kid really did not want a life jacket. 
And so he was trying to pass his swim test, swimming across, and, you know, he's literally sunken. His face is literally, like, right there, like, trying to make it across. And we have another lifeguard in the water with him, um, just trying to, like, be there right next to him. And so he, we're like, buddy, we're going to, like, take you out, get you a life jacket. You're just going to have to swim with that. I'm so sorry. He's like, no, like, I need, I need to pass this. And, um... So he kept like trying over and over and we're okay, okay, like, buddy, we can't, we're going to put you in a life jacket. And he's like, no, all my ops don't have life jackets. They're going to make fun of me. I was like, oh, this poor kid. How this, old was this kid? He's, he's probably in like third grade, Aww. younger. Um, and then, so we're getting his life jacket and he, he really, really does not want it. So he sprints back into the pool screaming, tell my mom I love her, and he runs back into the <gasps> pool and tries again. So I just, I don't know, that was a funny story to me. He was, he was actually really oh interesting. God. I loved him, but he made it out. He's alive. Okay. We're good. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I had another Karen story, yeah. um, and it was, again, at the fast food restaurant, and this couple walks in, and they ordered the pimento sandwich and fries, and a drink and so they go and they get their food and they start eating their fries and they come back and they're like our fries are cold after they've eaten like half of their fries and we're like okay um we'll get you some more fries and so um we uh go and get them more fries and we bring them back and then they come back and they've both eaten half of their sandwich like it, it's not just they had a bite and we're like huh our sandwiches are cold they ate half of it and then came up and they're like our sandwiches are cold and we're like oh okay, um, well, well, we'll get you some more sandwiches. So my manager goes to the back and, like, starts hand-making their sandwiches, make sure they're hot for them. While my manager is in the back, they come up and they start talking to one of my coworkers, and, like, I can hear what they're saying. And he's like, you guys need to be more careful about how you're scooping the cheese because it was not in the middle of my sandwich. And he's complaining about <laughs> the, <laughs> the placement of the cheese on the sandwich. Like, that's oh my goodness. <laughs> crazy. And then um, at the end, they got their new sandwiches, and they were happy with those. And at the end, they go up to get a refill, and he gives me his cup, and we clean the, the drink machines every night. And so we take the little nozzles off, and so when you take it out, you can still get the drink out of it, but it'll, like, spray everywhere. Yeah. And so I went to uh, fill his cup up, and it sprayed all over me. And so I, I like, jumped back, and I moved oh no. to the other, the other, like, drink stand and I filled up his drink and I gave it to him and he goes see that shows that you care because <laughs> you saw that something was wrong and you changed it and I was like oh Thank and you. like my manager had literally gone to the back and like handmade their sandwiches and like ev no one had like complained or anything about them like about them complaining and it was just weird that he decided to point out that I had moved drink he must stands, have been a worker and like <laughs> yeah, yes. really hard to do Took that. Took that really seriously. <laughs> yeah. I was just thought that was a funny story. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've been talking about these weird and kind of bad experiences with work. What are what are y'all's favorite parts of your jobs? I think over like my summer job, I made like really good friends that I still have now. I like working with um, my coworkers and like getting to have relationships with them and get to know them. I think that's always cool when you get to be yeah. friends with the people you work with. So that's yeah. my favorite part. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for being here today. Yeah. Signing off for JCNN, I am Ace Caro. I'm Campbell Burgess. And I am Abby Curl. Thank you. Thank you.